Hey everyone, and welcome to my long-awaited Mossery Co. sketchbook review. I've seen many other artists talking about this particular brand of sketchbook over the last few months, and I decided to finally pick up one for myself. Now, before getting too far into my review, I want to make it very clear that I did purchase this sketchbook myself, this is not a sponsored video, and all of these views are my own. In this review, I'm going to go over the specifics of this particular sketchbook, do a little demo, and then give you all my thoughts. What's really cool about this particular brand of sketchbook is how much customization you can have with it. So for my particular sketchbook, I went with the lemon yellow cover and the interior paper is the multimedia, but you can also get it in watercolor paper or watercolor paper that's 100% cotton. And as far as the covers go, you can also have your name personalized on the front in two different types of script. And then there's a ton of different options for the actual cover itself with either patterns or animals uh, or just basic colors, which is really, really cool. The multimedia paper comes in a smooth finish and it is good for dry or wet mediums. And it comes with 38 sheets in each sketchbook. So that comes out to 76 pages and the paper color is bright white. The demo piece you see me painting here is actually for a recent Draw This In Your Style challenge by Devin Ellie Kurtz. And this is gonna be my particular entry. And I figured it was a really great opportunity to test out a bunch of materials on this multimedia paper. In order to make this piece, I used Copic markers, color pencils, Posca pens, watercolor, acrylic ink, acrylic gouache, multi-liners, and I also used masking fluid and artist tape. I was really happy with how well this particular paper handled the watercolor as well as the Copic markers. For any of you guys who have used Copic markers in the past, you'll know that these markers tend to bleed through the paper. And while that did happen here, the markers themselves didn't bleed enough so that it affected the following page, which is ideal. Before beginning this piece, I used artist tape to tape down the page so that when I started applying the wet medium, when everything was dried and I removed the tape, hopefully the paper wouldn't have wobbled so much that um, it bent. And for this particular painting, when I removed all of the tape after it had dried, while there was a little bit of wave to the paper, it wasn't super extreme and I was really happy with the results. The paper also handled the Posca pens quite well. For anybody who has used these in the past, you may have noticed that when you were applying the Posca ink to your paper, the paper would start um, lifting and beating up. And while that can still happen, I didn't really experience it a lot with this particular paper compared to some of my other sketchbooks where I use my Posca pens. So again, it did happen, but not as extreme as I've seen it in the past. With the piece nearly complete, it's time to remove the artist tape. Now, I've had quite a few people reach out to me on Instagram asking what kind of tape I use because the tape that they are using ends up lifting the paper. And as you can see, as I'm lifting this purple tape, that white material is the paper actually being pulled off of the sketchbook. Now, this happens with all of my other sketchbooks as well, so I don't really count this against uh, the Mossery sketchbook. Again, it happens in every sketchbook I have. When I try to remove the tape, I'm just being very mindful of, is it being lifted? And trying to make sure that it doesn't get so bad that it starts damaging the interior of the piece. Since I have had this sketchbook now for a few weeks, this is the fourth painting in this book. I wanted to make sure that before I did this review, I did a few pieces beforehand so that I could cultivate my ideas clearly, concisely, and accurately. Overall, I am really pleased with this sketchbook. When I ordered it, it arrived quickly and in great condition. The packaging was really great. You should see it at the very beginning of the video in a cute little periwinkle envelope. I love the, uh, the amount of options that there are as far as different covers and, and paper 
and being able to customize the front with your name and then because it is a hardcover but the hardcover is almost like a cardboard consistency it allowed me to be able to go and add stickers to the front and even paint which I really enjoy so it allows me the opportunity to customize my sketchbook even more which you guys know I'm a huge fan of. While I do love this sketchbook it will not be replacing my day-to-day -day sketchbook for me, I really prefer paper that is very smooth, and while this is considered a smoother paper, it still had a little bit too much tooth to it for my taste. Thank you all so much. Take care.